In this Random Quotes project, we're going to be accessing our quotes online through Ajax. And for the Ajax, we're going to be using JavaScript Fetch API. First, we obviously need to create our HTML and CSS structure. So therefore, over here, you can see that I have index HTML. Then I have over here main CSS, where we're going to have our styles. And this is going to be the script JS, right? So we're going to start with index HTML. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to say that I would want a basic skeleton, right? So again, you can do the same that I'm doing in brackets, or in your text server, you probably have the same option, right? So where you can get right away a basic skeleton for the HTML. And over here, we're going to say that this is going to be English. The title, we might as well going to say that this is going to be GIS, which is going to stand for JavaScript, obviously, right? And then we're going to go over here in the body. And first, we're going to put our elements, right? So over here, what we're going to have, this is going to be div, and the class is going to be container. Over here, container. And you can see that I uh, forgot to actually use the Emmet, right? Then we're going to have a div that is going to be quote text, quote text over here like this. And then within this div, we're going to have a heading one, which is going to have an ID of quote over here like this, right? Then I press the tab. And over here, I'm going to say that if, if you, right, would like over here to read uh, a random quote, quote over here, or here, click the button, right? So this is going to be the button below, right? So this is going to be our text. And then we're going to have a paragraph, which is going to have an ID of author. So I'm going to write over here, paragraph, and this is going to be author, here like this. And then we're going to have a by coding addict in it, right? So here, we're going to have a line, and then I'm going to say by coding addict, or here like this. And then once this div is over, right? So once we have worked in this div, still in the container, we're going to add a button over here. We're going to say the button is going to have an ID. And we're going to say this is going to be BTN, right? So very uh, naive, right? ID in a normal case, we obviously wouldn't use something like this. But because this uh, project is so small, we can do it like this over here. And I'm going to say click here. And now what I would need to do is obviously link main CSS and JavaScript, right? So here I can write link, and I'm going to say main CSS. And over here in the bottom of the body, I'm going to say this is going to be obviously script, and the source is going to be script.js. So here, source script and script.js. So now that we're done with uh, the HTML, we can go actually go ahead and go to main CSS, right? So I'm going to go to main CSS, and we're going to start applying rules, right? And the first one is going to be for the whole body. We're going to say over here, we're going to say background color over here. And we're going to say that this is going to be CE, D0, CE, right? So the kind of grayish one. Then we're going to have min height, and this is going to be 100 viewports. Then we're going to have a text align, and we're going to say this is center. And then we're going to have a padding, which is going to be 100 pixels, right? And then after that, we're going to have a rule for the actual container, container over here. And we're going to say that the background color is going to be actually white over here. And then we're going to have a width. And we're going to set it actually to 80 viewports over here like this. And then we're going to have a padding of 40 pixels. And then we're going to have a height. And the height is going to be 35 uh, viewports. Right, so over here, height is going to be view height, something like this. So that one is going to be 35. And then we're going to have a border, and we're going to say border left. And this is going to be three pixels solid. And we're going to say this is going to be the orange one, 1 5 f 2 0 right? So over here, then we're going to have a quote text. Over here, quote, I'm going to say text. And the min height is going to be 20. Right, so we're going to say min height and 20 view height. So we're here like this. And then we're going to have a actual container and container heading one. Right, so I'm going to write container and heading one. And over here, we're going to write that this is going to be font size over here. And we're going to say 50 pixels. And over here, we're going to say this is going to be text align left, text align not center 
I'm going to say left over here. And then we're going to have the actual paragraph over here like this. And we're going to say container over here, paragraph. And over here, we're going to have text transform property. So I'm going to say text transform. And we're going to say capitalize. Then we're going to have a color. And over here, the color again is going to be C E D zero C E. All right, so something like this. Then we're going to have a text align right. Then we're going to have font style italic, right? Style over here, not stretch, actually style. We're going to say this is going to be italic. And then let's actually create a little bit more room so we can work over here. And once we have the italic, then we're going to have font size 30, 30 pixels over here like this. And then, then we have two more rules, and this is going to be for the button, right? So over here, I'm going to say button. And over here, I'm going to say margin. Margin top is going to be 30, 30 pixels over here. And then we're going to have a font size of 25, 25 pixels. And then we're going to have a padding of 10 pixels and 20 pixels. And over here, background color is going to be black. So background color. And over here is 1.9. 191716 right and then we're going to have a color and the color over here is going to be f f15025 right and then we'll have text transform to uppercase text transform to uppercase all right so we're going to go over here and we're going to say uppercase and once we have a button now we need a button hover right so over here i'm going to write hover over here and I'm going to say this is going to be color and hashtag 191716, right? And background color is going to be actually orange. So here we're going to say the background color is over here hashtag F15025, right? And now we can actually save this and check it out what we have without any logic. Right? You can see the only thing we probably should fix over here, right? You can see that this button is not in our container. And another thing we should change is actually a min height to 35. Right? So we're going to go back to container and we're going to give it a viewport of height of 55, right? So if I refresh over here, now we have 55. Now we're actually ready to go to our script JS over here and start applying the logic. Once we're in our script JS, the first thing that we need is a variables, right? So over here we're going to write variables. And over here, we're going to say this is going to be const for the constant. And we're going to say btn. And this is going to be document. And over here, we're going to say get element by ID. All right. So over here, we're going to write that this is going to be btn. Over here like this. Then over here, we're going to have a two more. So what I'm going to say is one, two. All right. So this is going to be for the quote. Over here for a quote. Then we're going to have over here also a quote quote and then it's going to be the author All right so then it's going to be a author over here constant author and this is going to be the author All right so now that we have these three now we need our url where we're going to be actually getting our json uh, ajax request right so this is going to be a let i'm going to say url over here and we're going to have double quotes and i'm going to say over here this is going to be https over here like this then it's going to be a colon and then it's going to be two forward slashes then it's going to be coding over here addict and this is going to be la then it's going to github over here and this is going to be io and then we're going to have a random quotes quotes over here and quotes json quotes and we're going to say json right now that we have this then we actually are ready to do our fetch, right? Now, before we do that, we obviously need uh, to actually uh, tie it to the button, right? So add event listener. So over here, I'm going to say btn, add event listener, add event listener. And we're going to say this is going to be click event. Right? So over here, click. And then what we're going to do, we're going to say this is going to be get, get data over here. Now, when we have our function, we actually need to create the function, right? So function declaration, function, get data over here like this. And then we're going to write that there's going to be a fetch, 
right? So this is going to have no parameters, but over here we're going to write a fetch. I'm going to write fetch, fetch over here, and then we're going to use the URL over here, right? So this is going to be the same URL, and over here then we're going to create our response object, right? So once we have our fetch URL, what should happen, right? So over here we're going to write that this is going to be then, right? So once we fetch the information, or here we're going to write function, right? And the function is going to have a parameter, which is going to be data, right? So which is basically the data we're getting back, right? Now over here, we're going to say that this is going to be a return data, return over here, and we're going to say data JSON over here, and we need to, don't need the dot over there, data, and we're going to write JSON over here like this, and then we're going to close it out. Then we have our first one, right? So first, what we want to do is get the data and then actually turn it into a JSON, right? So after that, we're going to say that this is going to be then, right? Another then. And what we're going to do with this data, we're going to say that this is going to be a function, function over here. And we're going to say this is going to have a parameter of quotes, right? So quotes over here. Now that we have this, we actually need to create what we're going to be doing, right? So over here, again, I'm going to be creating a uh, random number, right? But before this, before we start working with this then, I want to just add a catch, right? So which is going to be what happens if, let's say, fails, right? So catch over here like this. And then we're going to say this is going to be a function. And function is going to have a error error over here right and in here again we're going to create a marks right and then once we have this we can just check it out what we have right so this is going to be still our get function right and this is the uh, catch if the error right if there is an error right and now the only thing left to do actually is to write is what we're doing with those quotes right and we're going to create a random number let and we're going to say number over here and we're going to say math math and we're going to say floor once we have the math floor then we need a math random math random and then we would want over here this uh, quotes length right so again we need a number that we're going to be multiplying by quotes length over here length Right. So now when we have this guy, the next is going to be quote in our HTML. Right. So we're going to be targeting over here this variable, which is actually targeting by ID. Right. So I'm going to write quote and inner HTML, and this should be equal to the span. Over here like this, we're going to say this is going to be equal to span, and then there's going to be double quote, and we're going to close this span out like this. And then I'm going to say this is going to be quote numbers, right? And where we're getting this quote, this is obviously the data we're getting back from, right? So we're going to say quotes over here. And then we're going to say number, right? So this is going to be our random number. And then we're going to say this is going to be quote. And we need another span. So we go over here and we copy this guy. And we actually copy and paste it, right? So we have it over here. And then the next one is going to be author, right? So we're going to copy and paste this. And for the author, we're just going to say over here that this is going to be author. Over here like this. And in our HTML, we're going to say this is going to be author. Over here like this. And we can just delete this second span. We don't need this. Right, and we can change this one over here to two lines, right? And we're actually done with our fetch request, so let's go to our document. And in our document, you can see that everything is working, right? As I'm pressing over here, everything is clicking and everything is working fine. 